Alrighty guys, we're fishing Saguaro Lake today. Let's go see how we do. All right, so we have <clears throat> yucky phlegm. That's what I have. Got a little bit of a run to make across the lake. Oh, well, it's a big run for a kayak. <laughs> to be truthful, the reason why I haven't done a lot of Saguaro videos is because I've really sucked at fishing here, uh, at least for bass. I can get on the bluegills, I can get on the yellows, and usually what happens is I'll come out here, target bass for a few hours, not get onto any patterns, and then switch over to yellow bass or bluegill. I am not doing that today. Today I am determined to find bass. And the whole goal is just to learn a little bit more about Saguaro Lake. It's so close and there are giants in here and I'm really not taking advantage of, of the opportunity that's in front of me if I don't take the time to learn this place. I am gonna throw confidence baits today because I, I'm looking for fish, so I'm gonna use something I know will catch them. Man, it's beautiful out here. Love it. Oh my goodness, guys, I found me a bass. <laughs> oh, he just lost our worm for us. He is not a saguaro giant. This is tiny for here. Saguaro can be a really tough bite a lot of the time. Today I'm focusing mostly on points and coves. Um, and I haven't gotten onto any pattern. That's my first bass of the day. And man, it felt good to get bit. Holy cow. <clears throat> Just throwing a little morning dawn with a chartreuse tail drop shot today. It's confidence bait, something I know if I get in front of a fish, they're gonna bite. I just gotta get in front of the fish. Hopefully, there will be some bigger ones down there because I mean, Saguaro's known for holding really good fish and I wanna get me one of them or five of them today. <laughs> All right, we're sitting in about 30 foot, but he was probably in 15 to 20, and I see that rock right out there right now. I'm gonna try again, right outside that rock there. Drop that puppy down. <laughs> got fish playing with it, pretty sure just bluegills. Whatever it is, I got him. I don't think that's a bluegill. I don't think that's a bluegill. Definitely not a bluegill. It's a bass. Woo, he came off as I flung him out of the water. <laughs> All right, guys, this is only about 30 yards from where I caught my last one. Again, about same size. He's a little bit bigger. Come on, dude, open your mouth. A little bit bigger than our last one. But it's a fish. I've caught two bass in like 20 minutes or less which is uh, probably the best I've ever done as far as consistency with bass at Saguaro. I have just not been good at fishing here. Nice little cutie. The points and the secondary points are what's producing. I'm gonna keep focusing on that with this little drop shot. If I keep catching tinies, I'm gonna upsize my worm to like a Cinco and Wacky Rig drop shot. I swear, I thought that bite was a bluegill the way he hit it. So maybe I've missed some other bass thinking their bluegills just letting it sit. You know guys, I wanna give you a big old thank you. Um, last video I put out at the Salt River, I asked you guys what you wanna see and I was blown away at uh, how many of you responded to that and uh, shared your feedback with me. It really is helpful. Just wanna give you a big thanks. That's one of the reasons why I'm out here at Saguaro today. A lot of you said you wanted to see more of Saguaro and Canyon and on the kayak, and so I'm doing it. And this is this is a place where I need to learn. Got him. That's a better one. That's a little bit better than the last ones. Yes. There we go. 
Yeah, that's why we came to Saguaro, guys. We want a better fish. This is a better one. Yes. Stay down, buddy. Yeah. Woo. So excited, guys. You have no idea. It is so hard for me to catch fish here. It has been. And to catch three fish within an hour and a decent one, that makes me very, very happy. Get a weight on him real quick, and then we'll get him back in the water. All right, he is 212, so two and three quarter pounds, pretty much. Still a nice fish. I thought he would have gone three, but nice, chunky, two and three quarter right there. Let's see if we can get a dance out of her. Nope. <laughs> Too smart. Bigger ones don't do as much as the little ones do. I bent my hook pretty good, so I'm gonna have to bend it back a little bit. With this hook, you don't want it to be facing the eye of the hook all that much. You want it to be open a little bit so that it gets good hook penetration. You'll miss a lot of fish. Yeah, that, that's good. See how there's a good distance. Like this isn't pointing right at the eye. It's pointing straight out this way, and that allows them when they bite it to get the hook right in their, in their nose. So remember that when you're drop shotting, guys. That's a bite. Doesn't still have it though. I think just about everything is gonna hit this thing. Oh, yeah, it's fishing its way down all those points too. What do I have here? I got me a fishy. Oh man, he's better than, oh geez, that's a good fish. I thought I had me a little bluegill on. <clears throat> Turns out I got, oh no! No, dang it, that was a good fish. Oh, I didn't get to see how big he was. Oh, that's frustrating, guys. I've gone like, oh, I don't know, four hours? Without having a bass on my line? Can't believe he came unpinned like that. Oh, I'm still sick to my stomach from losing that fish. That was a good one. Got it, whatever it is. Woo, it's a little bass. <laughs> oh, and he's spitting up shad all over. <laughs> We're matching the hatch, guys. Man, it feels good to finally pull in a fish, especially after missing that nice one. Let's get him back in the water. And I'll show you guys what I'm using here. This is what missed that big one we just had and then caught this little guy. This is the Mega Bass Hazendong, or Hazendong, however you wanna say it. I've got it set up on a drop shot, as you can tell. I am using a quarter ounce weight and about a foot to 14 inches up. Just go straight through his head like that. And these guys are just as deadly as fishing a live minnow. They are nuts how, <laughs> how uh, realistic they are. But the problem is, is that uh, you get bit by everything. So I keep every cast I get hit by multiple bluegills and yellow bass. And so it's just hard to know when to set the hook. See, I just got bumped again. Nothing on there, lots of bluegills. And that bass right there, I hesitated setting on because he felt like a bluegill too. So when in doubt, guys, just set the hook. Got us one on our way back to the truck. Oh, my battery's pretty much dead right now too. <laughs> so I've had to paddle quite a bit. Yeah, we, moved, we went back to the robo worm and I actually picked up another one too and uh, I just didn't get the camera on in time before he got himself off but yeah awesome sauce I mean that's what I would catch in the river I uh, really want some bigger fish and some more fish hey guys we have put in a lot of time and a lot of miles and we've only caught a few fish. I mean, it's uh, almost five o'clock. I started at 
like, ooh, oh, I think it's just the bluegill messing with me. I started like 6.30 this morning, so that's a lot of time. My battery's dead. I'm cruising at less than a mile an hour, just pitching to the side while I got a little bit of juice left, and I'm just going to have to paddle a mile back to the truck. A lot of water we've covered today, my goodness. You know guys, it is a very fun place to come and catch bluegill and yellow bass. If you want to see me do that, go check this video out right here. And as always guys, remember to get out and live. Peace.